we're back with 843 TV at the brand new campus of Bridges Preparatory School talking with Mr. McCulloch and students and teacher. And so it's choice school choice season. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So as a parent, one of the most important things you do is select the right school mm -hmm. and the right fit for your child. You want them to be happy and you want them to be served not only academically, but also socially and emotionally. So you should always look at that selection, especially around social emotional development mm -hmm. too. How are you developing the whole child? Does every single school offer that? What I can always guarantee you in any school that I'm in is that your child is going to be supported academically, but you're also gonna grow as an amazing citizen. Mm -hmm. It is so important oh, that wow. our schools focus on building high quality citizens so that they support mm -hmm. these amazing communities. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Well, let's go back for the student and the individualized student, excuse me. So what about special needs or somebody who's a slow reader, slow learner? How do we help them in that school environment? Yeah. So every school environment should be able to help all students, mm -hmm. no matter what level they're on. And that's just the craft of being an amazing educator mm -hmm. is so that you can scaffold your lessons mm -hmm. to meet the needs of extra intervention and then also extra enrichment. But the thing that we also have here at Bridges Preparatory School is we have 23 students in a classroom. Mm -hmm. And how personalized mm -hmm. is your instruction? If you're in kindergarten or first grade, you have a teacher and an assistant okay. in both of those grades. That brings that ratio down to one to 12. Yeah. So when we think mm -hmm. about those special needs, we have to truly think about what that looks like in our environment. Are we focused on our class sizes? Because if you've got that class of over 35, over 40, right. that's where you're really gonna struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, and, and I think a lot of parents are sensitive to that. Because you know, as we know, when little guys are starting, they're all at different levels. They all will catch up in time, but you know, it's just every parent has that hesitation and concern and you know, they would just want them to feel safe, you know, mm -hmm. and, and want to learn. Mm -hmm. And speaking from um, a parent of three kids and three different ages, <laughs> middle school, now high school, so I totally can, as a parent talking to you, I totally understand and, and see this. What about some of the other programs you want to share that sure. you offer? So Paideia Learning, and that's where every student, no matter where you are academically, you are, uh, you're, there's less, the learning is so scaffolded in Paideia Learning where we work on vocabulary, we work on background knowledge, and then when you go to seminar, it's respectful seminar that's happening with our students and facilitated by that great educator. Mm -hmm. So it's all about everyone contributing because I know in classes, many of them are out there right now. There are students sitting in the back of the room that are afraid to raise their hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if they are, they're in an environment where they don't feel safe and they don't feel connected. And it's up to us to create those great yeah. environments. We also have STEM learning, which I had mentioned before, but the completer is all about connecting to your businesses. So Hargrave, Beaufort Memorial, our fire station, we want our students to have internships. Yeah. And I've asked these businesses, you know, what are the positions that you can't fill right now? Right. And what courses do we need as a sure. school to put in place so that we can fill those positions Absolutely. for you? Absolutely. And so the student base, how far do they travel to come to campus here? Are you, you know, is it a half an hour radius or what's your distance? Yeah. Well, it can be pretty far. I live all the way down in Moss Creek. So, <laughs> that's right. so from there early in the morning, it is 30 minutes to here. So that's right. what I wanna make clear to, People in Hilton Head that may be watching, people in Bluffton. In Bluffton, you are only a very short 15 yeah, minute yeah. car ride up yeah. 170 <laughs> now. And then the greater Beaufort area. Mm -hmm. We also uh, are open to Jasper, um, Colleton, and also Bridgeland. Bridgeland, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, that area. So we have a number of areas in our base that can attend here. And we're a pu public. Uh, charter and we want to remember that because I think it's really important because it's such you, the distance and it, it don't let that uh, not have you come because mm -hmm. education you know. Excuse me, of course. Madison lives on Mat Ladies Island. Yes, um, it yeah. takes me 25 minutes to get here, but um, it's 
It's not a bad ride, honestly. I'd rather take 25 minutes to get here to go somewhere else, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you live close by, you Three mentioned. Three minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, exactly. He, you can call him if you need something. That's like right. Absolutely. So, <laughs> as we celebrate yeah. this new campus, um, growth of the school, which is amazing, and I think that's going to be just, I can't wait for our next conversation when we get there. What else can we share with our viewers? What is, the, as we close up, we have a couple, another minute to go. Mm -hmm. What can we close and what we can share with them? Sure. So to all parents, that are out there and like I had said this is such an important choice when you are looking at school choice uh, you really want to focus on those environments but we have had wait lists for so many years yeah. now that this new build has happened mm -hmm. we are going to be able to accept 300 additional wow. students this year but That's this year alone this reminds me of where I was in another school mm -hmm. and then all we have is wait lists yes. after that. Mm -hmm. So it is so important that we apply so that we can meet the needs of all of our communities because I know everyone wants to be a part of an amazing school environment that mm -hmm. is Bridges Prep. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And what about you, Mr. Converse, Less in a quick few seconds? Sure, this is just a great place, a wonderful environment where students are cared for academically, emotionally, socially, and we truly look for, if something's different that day, making sure we, we meet with that student and uh, talk mm -hmm. to them and see what's going on. So, mm -hmm. it's a Madison, place. as you look towards your senior year? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just like he said, I mean, it's very close-knit school. It feels like family basically I mean um, there's something new going on every day it's a really great place to be. Mm -hmm. Can people come and visit? Do they have scheduled times where people can yes. visit the campus? Just call the number? And we actually have a tour this Friday for okay. this campus. Okay. The following Friday we have uh, for our Celadon campus mm -hmm. and then the last two days of the month uh, right before those applications are due on the 31st that is uh, when we have two more tours. And I know that the tour is with Gary yes. himself, <laughs> so it's extra special. There you go. So exciting. Thank you all for sharing, thank and you. we thank, thank you all you. for watching today from the new campus of Bridges Prep. This is 843 TV, where communities come to speak.